Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I just unboxed this, wait, I have two things in my hand. I just unboxed this Louis Vuitton strap and these little Hermes scarf tying cards from The Real Real. And you have probably already seen that because I posted it, um, I, I, well, at this point I haven't posted it yet, but by the time you're seeing it, I will have posted it. And I have the second box that I teased you with, and now you're finally going to get to see what's in it. This is a limited edition item. And this is something that I saw, and I went back and forth about it, and I can explain that a little more. Here's the paperwork, I'm not gonna go through all that. Um, but I went back and forth about it, and I saw two of these that were just like this one, and I didn't buy them, and I kind of regretted them, but the Vachetta on them was a little dark. And I was hoping to find one with lighter Vachetta, but then I figured, well, I've already missed two that were at a really great price. It probably won't be at a third that's in even better condition, but there was. All right, here is the item. Can you see through the bag and tell what it is yet? And here we go. I'm picking it up by the strap. Oh wait, I'm looking at it, I should show you. Here it is. So this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire, Pochette Accessories, in the Steven Sprouse Graffiti Limited Edition pattern in green. There we go. It has the real, real tag on it that says if I remove it, I've bought it. And that one is actually attached where you can't just remove it um, and then reattach it. So let me show you, as I look at this too, it's like perfect condition. The, there's no chipping that I'm seeing right away. I didn't see any chipping in the pictures. Oh, it's beautiful. And I wanna tell you why I went back and forth about it. And I'm looking at the hardware, that looks clean. The zipper's great. The hardware is um, like it's not, chipped, it's not turned silver, it's gold. Can't think because I'm busy looking at it. Okay. Let me go, I'm trying to figure out what to tell you first. Let me go show you some details. So there's the Vachetta tab. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. It has the detachable Vachetta strap, which you can see is very clean, not doesn't have any dark spots or water spots that I'm seeing right away. If y'all are seeing something I'm not seeing, let me know. And so this Steven Sprouse graffiti, go see MJ Lux, some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, they have, Jill has a pouch that is the same one except that it's the gray. I think she called it gray and not white. I've always thought it was white. Um, but she has a little history lesson for you on there, which is better than anything I could do. So if you'd like to know about this pattern, go watch MJ Lux video. The only thing wrong with this pouch is this one spot inside, and you can see that white spot there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I can get a wet rag and clean that out, but I'll try. Um, but since it's inside, it doesn't bother me at all. Date code, Let's see if I can yeah, I can get this out for you. So there is the date. And that is on the this side and this side on the tab side, if that makes sense. Um, let's see. Yeah, so let me tell you why I picked this one instead of a plain one or a different limited edition and my concerns about it. Um, okay, so as you can see, if you're not familiar with this pattern, it's that it has the graffiti on the top by Steven Sprouse. And it says Louis Vuitton all over the front and the back. And then around the sides here, it says Pochette. I'm hoping it'll stay focused on it. Anyway, it says Pochette Accessoire, which is pretty cute. So, several things and trying to figure out what to say first. The reason I felt like I needed to get one of these 
is it's one of the last things that I want for the inside of my handbag, one of the last SLGs that I currently want. Um, the only one that I still have on my list at the moment is the Zippy coin purse besides just some limited edition things. As far as useful pouches and wallets and those kinds of SLGs, I want the Zippy coin and then this was the other one that I still wanted, uh, one of the pochette accessoire. And I was very hesitant to get one that had that was a limited edition had silk screening because they chip and this is something that would be used and it would go in and out of the bag so I'm still worried about that. I thought about just getting the plain monogram one but the only, hold on, okay, I heard some bird chewing on something, but she's on the floor chewing on the cardboard box that I just took this out of, so that's all right. As long as she's chewing on that and not a book or something, then we're good. Okay, so I thought about the plain monogram one, but the only one of those that I would want is the brand new model, which has the pocket and a little bit longer strap. I think it's more of a shoulder strap. And oh, now she's chewing on my boot. Okay, I'm gonna put her on my shoulder here, but I'm gonna have to take my earrings off. I ordered, by the way, and you may have seen videos with this already, because I don't know what I'm gonna have posted before I post this one, but I ordered um, a stand for her to be behind me here. I thought that would be fun for some people, because a lot of people are really enjoying the video with her. Come here, Vincent. Come here. Come here. Come on. Whoa! Okay, all right, there she is. <clears throat> and she's probably gonna poop on me. Don't poop on me, okay, bird? Oh. oh, I don't have anything to put on me right now. We're filming, you're on TV. All right, <clears throat> be good. Be on your best behavior, okay? You're not gonna chew on this, I'm sorry. You're not getting this. Okay, so what was I saying? Y'all help me out. This bird distracts me. You distract me. So, yeah, so I wanted the new model with the pocket. That one is $500. This one was, I paid about half that. Can you believe that, seriously? I, I mean, you, you find these things for going for around 700 on eBay, and this is in perfect condition, so I don't know how the Real Real had it so cheap. I'm so surprised by their prices. I'm gonna let her get down and chew on stuff on my desk if she wants, as long as it's nothing that you can't have. So she doesn't poop on my shirt and eat holes in my shirt and stuff. So I don't know how they have prices that are that good on some of these items, but they do. And that's why I shop there. Um, so I jumped on it at that price. Now, again, I had the hesitations about the, the coating on it, but the other reason I didn't want to get, well, the other reason I decided on this instead of the $500 um, new model monogram pochette is because, uh, because they're so hard to find. You can't get them new anymore, pretty much. They're, they, you just can't find them in stores. It's that thing where they haven't discontinued the canvas, but they're making it more limited. Um, they haven't discontinued the item, but it's just really hard to find. You know, essays have told me it's on back order and all this. I also didn't really want to pay $500 for something this size. And I know, you know, for Louis Vuitton, that's not an expensive item. I don't know what she's doing. Look at this. She's hanging upside down on me. Um, but yeah, I, I just, at this price, I couldn't pass it up. And of the graffiti pieces, this color was my favorite. It's sort of, it reminds me of military green. And ow, don't bite me. Hey, don't chew on me. You're, you're hurting me, you're pit, ouch, ouch. Don't get an attitude with me, bird. No, no. You better be good. We discussed this already. So the monogram for me is, is casual. It's a casual print and I, and I know people have different, different feelings. Are you done? So I know people have different interpretations of the monogram print. To me, it feels really casual, especially with the, um, 
the patina on the Vachetta. The, the green for me works perfectly with it. With It just has this kind of military vibe. Like, um, you should be in one of those green military jackets, you know? You know what I mean? So, I really like this. I also wanted a smaller bag to take around. The smallest bags I have are my mini pochette that I got for my birthday and my Eva in Damira Ben. And I wanted something um, a little bit bigger than the Eva um, in a monogram print or in something else that wasn't Damira Ben that I could take out. Um, and this, this should hold more than the Eva because it's taller. It's about the same width, I think. Maybe I'll do a comparison between this and the Eva. But yeah, so I wanted something like that. I wanted um, to be able to use it as a small handbag for going out to dinner or something uh, or party or whatever. And then I also wanted it to be able to use in my handbag to put larger items that don't fit in any of my other SLGs like pens, uh, a pair of sunglasses, I have the sunglasses case, case, but I keep my readers in there. So what I'm thinking of doing, pardon me, Vincent, is I have, where is it? I have this pouch right now that I have my sunglasses that I got at Steinmark for 15 bucks and my little pens. Um, so I'm planning to just put those in here and that'll be a replacement for that piece. Move this to, to another purpose and Everything in my bag will now be, well, almost everything in my bag will now be Louis Vuitton, um, which is my ultimate goal. Um, what else do I want to say about this? I'll talk about it more in other videos, but yeah, I have a chain strap that I can put on it. I also have the Eva strap that is the Aben. So I don't have those on the desk here with me, but I do have my Trevi strap because I just filmed the other video that I featured it in. Um, so at least here you can see, well that's what it looks like with the Trevi strap. Actually that looks pretty good in my opinion. That's nice. What I'd like to do is get a little chain like on the Eva that just hangs down here um, as decoration and give it a little more okay. shiny bling but I'm worried that that might rub against the um, silk screening and damage that, and I certainly don't want to damage it. Let me also show you this with the monogram strap that I just unboxed for that other video, because that should look really good too. So here it is with the monogram strap. So that looks nice too. And then if I wanted a longer strap. I have that Damir Ben Eva strap from my uh, Eva, and then I have a long Vachetta strap from my Turin. But that one is, um, oh, I have one more here. Oops, sorry, Vincent. Um, the strap from the Turin hasn't patinaed yet because it's still a pretty new bag. And let me show you what this would look like with my patinaed Vachetta strap from my Noe GM. And that should look good too, except that it's probably too big. I don't know, I think that looks really nice. What do you guys think? What's your favorite strap with it out of the three? The Vachetta from the Noe GM, the monogram strap that I just got from the Real Real, or the Aben Trevi strap? What do you like best? Or do you think that the gold chain strap would be the best? I don't know. All right, if you guys have pieces like this that are the, um, that have the silk screening and you use them in your bags, I would love some tips on how to keep this in great shape or to hear about your experiences with your limited edition pieces with the silk screening because I am nervous about using this inside of my bag. And you know, at some point maybe I'll change my mind and just get a regular monogram one in addition to this to keep in my bag and just use this as its own piece um, where it doesn't get used all that much because it's limited edition, I don't want to ruin it. So please let me know what your experiences are because I would love to hear that and any tips you have to keep this in fantastic condition. I love it. I love it even more than 
I thought I was going to because I've only ever seen pictures of it. I've never seen it in person. I didn't want to go the speedy route with this because you know there's a speedy with the graffiti pattern. That was just, just I've got bird tail in my mouth here practically. Um, the speedy is for me just too much. Like I, I like them. It's just a little bold for me and my personality. So having a small bag with it, I'm okay with. Um, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say about that. And that's it. So Vincent, you want to turn around and say bye? Turn around, turn around. Come on, hey, turn around. Don't bite me, turn around, turn around, turn around. Hello. Okay, we're waving bye. Bye guys, she's not cooperating. Ha ha. Wah, wah, Bye guys. Y'all have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know the things that I asked you about. Um, I'm going to go put this bird back before she chews a hole in my shirt. <laughs>